The recently appointed ministers in the office of the president have been ushered into their offices today. Let me also hand over to you the report I have been reading. Among us, those who inherited the reins were Kampala Affairs Minister Betty Kamia and her state minister Benny Namugwanya, the minister for president Esther Mbayo and minister without portfolio Arihaj Abdul Naduli among others. The outgoing minister for presidents and Kampala, Frank Mwebaze, revealed that during his term in office, the fights between the political and technocrat swings were inevitable. Why is there quarrels in Kampala? Yes, the quarrels have to be there because Kampala is for everybody, whether you are born in Kampala or not. It was a tough fight, but it was very necessary. It was not petty, it was not local. It was for the good of Uganda. During Tumwebaze's tenure, Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago was impeached, which set off a protracted legal battle. Tumwebaze, however, says there is commitment from the new leaders to end these fights. And I'm happy to note that I have read in the press and heard that the Lord Mayor is now very determined to cooperate with KCCA and the new minister. I congratulate him and I wish that spirit goes on. Commenting about development, Tumwebaze cited some of the projects undertaken during his term. He appealed to Kamiya to monitor the progress of developing the Kampala Metropolitan Physical Planning Authority to guide development, even in areas near Kampala. Because KCCA is doing a good job, but without clear planning of the outer metropolitan area, KCCA would be growing the city into a bubble, waiting to burst. In turn, Kamiya said she will not sit on her rowels to build the pristine image of the city. And that will mean making a lot of consultation. I'll sit with the Lord Mayor, with the councillors, with the ED, KCCA, the lower councils, the different interest groups in Kampala. Habad Ziwa, NTV. <laughs>